welcome to On The Chain. This, this deep fake you did, which is your last one, and mm-hmm. it's always wonky when I got to see. Let me go ahead and grab yeah, that, this. Yeah, that one went a little viral on Twitter for a Twitter video. That one great. Well, it's a fantastic. That's one of the reasons. I mean, it's really great. So let me put this up right here. And let's go ahead and let's make it full screen. Hang on a second. You hear audio? I hear audio. Perfect. All right, let's do this from the center. Let's make sure it's all the way cranked up, and it is. Let's do this one. Here we go. Unless, of course, you pay me one hundred billion dollars. <laughs> Show me the money. Show you what money? Show me the money. Show me the money. You had me at hello, tear. <laughs> Nothing. <clears throat> Talk to the hand, because the face don't want to hear it anymore. What hand? Talk to your hand? You ain't all that in a bag of potato chips. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't go there, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Whose girlfriend? Don't mess with me. I'm one crazy mofo. I had to pop a cop because he wasn't giving me my props in Oaktown. No? I heard that somewhere. <laughs> Really? So long. Boom. Boom. I ma- I actually mixed up um, two movies there with the Austin Powers one and part two. Ah, so crafty. The background changes a little bit. Yeah, crafty, crafty. Yeah, I mean, the Gensler is so sharp, though. I mean, in like that one part where he does one, this, the whole thing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And you know, it's, he's kind of that hip as well. I mean, he's really that hip. He's like this, old, this, this old crustacean dude. And, you know, it's really bizarre. Jeff, we're just going to watch this video. We watched the first one where the, the Austin Powers. Now we're going to watch this one here of Gensler when he was on Squawk Box. So let's, let's watch this here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Drop here. Here we go. But in terms of risk and how you're thinking about it, what's top of mind right now? I'll keep it short and sweet. <laughs> Family, religion, friendship. These are the three demons you must slay if you wish to succeed in business. When opportunity knocks, you don't want to be driving to the maternity hospital or sitting in some phony baloney church <laughs> or synagogue. G- Syn- synagogue. synagogue. G- 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 yeah, that one's not a deep fake. That one's just like mouth manipulation. But uh, the deep fake, you know, putting somebody's face on somebody else, that's that's a real deep fake, like with the uh, Dr. Evil. And the Dr. Evil one, how long did that one actually take to produce? Um, you got to like extract the frames. I had to create a Gary Gensler face set, which is literally like 10,000 ang- uh, stills of him from oh, video. Yeah, wow. it takes time. Um one, but now I have a Gary Gensler face set, so I, I can rip and roar as much as I want now. It's it, I got that step done, and I can use that in the future. Um, but training it actually takes about usually three or four days at least if, to make it pretty sharp like that at this point of the technology. Let's see. You guys hear audio? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Hello, freak bitches. <laughs> I got to go on the show. <laughs> Oh man. <sighs> Dude, do you think you will die one day or not? I'm not trying to make uh, you think about it. I'm pretty I don't know if I <laughs> I don't know if I can play this or not. But. Pretty sure that's how the world that's how the road goes. Yeah, you're born and then you die. Why? What do you think? I don't know, man. Bert Kreischer doesn't think you die. Yeah, yeah. I think but I he, think he's just. Yeah, drunk. that could be it too. Yeah, and you don't have a shirt on, dude. You have to put a shirt on to decide if you're going to die or not. Well, he he goes prove it, boy. <laughs> that's so we just, that's we, we have to base this on what we know about people now. So. There you That's go. I mean, be, yeah. So you, if you're <laughs> watch, if you're listening on the podcast, so basically you see Joe Rogan. He's a little person. It looks like a little kid, really. And he's sitting there with his arms up on the table doing this interview with Theo Vaughn. It's like, oh, it's... when I first saw this, I was like, oh my god, it's got the brick background. He's at a wood table, just like in his podcast studio. This is gonna I be funny. 
I honestly thought I, I said, awesome. well, I, I was trying to remember. Was there somebody <laughs> on there? Like, that, who did he have on there? Because I really thought when I saw this that it was that. But I, now I see he's sitting and there's a menu. Way. I never noticed that. <laughs> the first yeah, time. it's just a booth table within a restaurant or something in the movie. So, but so it, this it, one it, took it, a little bit of time then. Yeah, that one took a long time, especially with the mouth manipulation at the end, which I don't think is perfect. But I mean, you had to, I had to do two steps. I had to do the mouth manipulation and a deep fake. So, yeah, these things take a while. Just and all I'm hoping is that it goes viral so I get more followers. And, you know, it's just let me share this one right here. Let's do Let's share this puppy brave tab. Let's do this. All right. There we go. Let's play this one here. There we go. Let's back oh, this yeah. puppy. This I one found here. Out, uh, I found the bearable bull's actual identity, is what I called that one. Yeah, that was a good yeah, this one. was yeah. great. <laughs> and we had and the bull was on here too. And we were like, come on, come on, man. Put your yeah, face up. He, he replied to it. He said he loved it. <laughs> come it on for great. the first time. And he's like, nah, man, I ain't show my face. So let's see if Chip can do was uh yeah, he intro. wouldn't even tell me his name. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Yeah, I'm down in Miami sometimes. I'm like, dude, well, hang on. He goes, Oh no, we won't, we'll never will. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like he goes never. The bearable bull here. So he and here he goes. Aggressively <laughs> average content. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bearable bull here. <laughs> and I got this aggressively average short for you today. As guys, XRP is finally waking up. This is still a bull market. All coin season will happen. You have not missed it yet, and this is the main event. This bull run is not over until certain cryptos hit certain price targets, XRP being one of them. And a minimum $10 price is in store for us, in my personal opinion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bearable bull here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. If you now I'll be back tomorrow. Like that, with a and it fits, it's great, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the funny thing about, you know, what's funny is like, you know, when you listen to a bearable bull, and by the way, guys, on Clubhouse, bearable bull is going to be on the XRP community on, on, starts at nine o'clock tonight. They'll be on there oh, that's with, uh, tonight. that's right. That's tonight with a lot of the community. And um, so bull will be hanging out there. So, but what's funny about this cool. is like, when you actually see somebody's lips moving, because you always think like, what does the bearable bull look like? Yeah. And so now I'm kind of like, you kind of ruined now, it. Now you know. <laughs> now now like, you know. <laughs> I used to bag groceries there for two years. And I remember I was 16 years old and someone's like, I, I just heard some muttering going on. The corporate guy was in going down the aisles with the, with the manager. You know, they were doing a walkthrough. And someone goes, there's a cleanup on aisle seven. There's a cleanup on aisle seven. You do it. You do it. You do it. And I was the 16 year old. They're like, Brian, you got to clean up on aisle 17, on aisle seven. And I'm, I look, I look like this. I'm like, what is that peanut butter? And the <laughs> check, this cashier who I didn't think liked me at all was in tears laughing. I'm like, that's so funny. It was an old man with a walker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yikes. And from oh, that, from that point on, she loved me. Every time she saw me, she's like, what is that peanut butter? <laughs> Dude, you crushed it. You're crushing it back then, man. It's 16. Yeah. Little did I know. Are you down with OTC? Please like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when the next video drops.